So, I came to uh, northern Iraq and I've spent three days going around different camps. The first day we, we looked at a camp that was uh, housing Syrian refugees and then yesterday and today we're looking at camps with internally displaced people fleeing from the violence in Iraq. So I've been really impressed and moved by the, the families I've met, how their most important thing in their world, even though they've lost their world if you like, is to be together, how, how important that is, to the point where I've met families who say it doesn't matter that our houses are gone, that our villages are rubble, we're together and that's all that really matters. And that's been very touching and moving for me. And then just seeing the scale of it, they're putting electricity cables in, they're digging new toilets for the thousands and thousands of other refugees they're expecting to arrive. It's kind of unbelievable. We, I really passionately believe we've got to keep... Sorry. <laughs> it's just we kids, you know, like ours. There was a little boy we met yesterday whose eyes were very glazed and he'd, he'd been in the camp for only a week and he talked about his, his house being targeted and mortared. So they had to leave. But he was like six, seven. It was an extraordinary thing to hear. Something we couldn't imagine, eh? It's true that there's a, there can be an attitude in, in Britain which has been perpetuated by politicians that people are, are coming to our country because they'd be better off and they, they're sort of breaking down our doors to try and flood in. And the truth is that people here have let, have, we've heard extraordinary stories of people running with their child while, with, through sniper fire, people fleeing across rivers with babies, not because they think they can come and get money out of our government in Britain, but because, they, because there's no other choice. I've never felt more confused and upset by what I've seen, but also driven that it's just clear they've got to try and help, you know, okay. because it's monumentally massive, this problem here. Millions of children are in dire straits here. We can't just think it's not our problem. We've got to try and help. I think it's just, it's easy not to really see it and to keep it out here, but I would try and go home and make sure people bring it back in front of their vision.